Well, congratulations yesterday on it being Kenny McPeak Day in Lexington, and I guess you wouldn't mind if it was sort of Kenny McPeak Day in That's Shelbyville, little, Indiana on yeah, Saturday. Yeah, that was a little surreal. Um, you know, growing up there and everything, I mean, like I told him, I can drive Lexington blindfolded, although you wouldn't want to see it happen. But anyway, no, it's just pretty neat. But um, yeah, we're excited about this weekend. We've got some nice horses going up that are all doing good. Yeah, and now that we know who the fields are, could you sort of talk about them in the context of who's going against them? I'm guilty. I haven't studied them yet. Um, I know real men violin. I know, I know that's a little deeper water than, than, you know, maybe he's experienced, but this is a straight three-year-old cold. We're gonna give him one more chance in Stakes Company. And of course he's knocked on the door in Stakes Company um, this year and last year. And then Band of Gold, you know, stakes winner, and she comes back and probably doing as best as she's ever done. Um, so so I'm excited about giving her a shot there. And then we've got the Indiana bred um, under the palms, who I think they made the morning line favorite up there. So should be fun. I'm going to go, um, I actually have to be at phasing that morning, and I'm going to drive to Indiana so I can get up there in time to saddle. You won the Indiana Oaks last year. I don't think you've ever won the Indiana Derby. No, knocked on the door in it. Um, you know, run well in it several times, but haven't won it now. So I want to get back to Kenny McPeak Day. Did they just call you out of the blue and say, we want to have Kenny McPeak Day. Can you be here in Lexington? Or I don't know how that came up. Um, um, I got a call about it and yeah, I was extremely flattered. Um, kind of an odd, you know, I don't know how you, how you take something like that other than be very thankful and and, and um, you know, look, I grew up in Lexington as a kid, and I was baptized maybe a half mile from from where the uh, event was yesterday, and my mother's buried about a half mile the other direction. So, so it's definitely home for me. And and, Lin and Linda, I've known, and the council I've known, and I've done the PDR, um, which is public development rights for my farm in Lexington. So that's the kind of a community thing, and Linda's uh, actively involved in that as Frank Penn and. So yeah, I you mean, know, so it goes goes way back, and yeah, really flattered. So, what do you think's the key to both Band of Gold and also a Real Men Violin for them to run their best races? Well, she's easier than him. I, th I th do think she's a bit of a setup filly. There needs to be pace in the race that that allows her a chance to to run them down. I think if they if they set a modest pace, she has a hard time closing into that. And if things, um, if they go a little bit quick earlier, if they don't pay attention, she'll come running late. And that's what happened when she won the Martha Washington this past winter. Um, when it doesn't set up for her, she's a little compromised, or her chances are. But, um, and as far as real men violin, you know, he goes out there and he tries really hard every time. And he's still got the A other than condition left. And I could be more conservative and run him in a race like that. Although we won that race the other day with the elephants here, here. But um, he's a lovely horse, and, and um, like I said, it's a little bit of an uphill battle for him. I think he's eight or ten to one, and um, you know he. Uh, but he deserves a shot, certainly against straight three-year-olds. You know, I was talking to Brian about this the other day. But <laughs> obviously, you all, you know, historic in sweeping the Derby and the Oaks, um, mm -hmm. but that you know these other races are still important. That these races, like I was asking, how you approach these races, you know, like the. The, the regional derbies and yeah. the regional oaks. And he said, you know, that's what kind of got you where you yeah. are. If you've got those kind of horses, you're certainly in, in the ballpark on, on whether it's derby or oaks types. But, um, you know, and, and certainly how good a horse is is going to depend on what they can get accomplished. But um, in the case last year, we had Defining Purpose, who was a very good three-year-old. She ran, well, she wins the Ashland. She wasn't quite good enough in the Oaks, but she comes back and wins the Indian. All these are great races to be involved in. We're lucky we've got a lot of young, good young horses every year, and, and uh, they, they put us kind of in this position. Yeah, and you're making the point to hustle from uh, Phasing Tipton to get up there and stuff. These races yeah. are still important. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. I, you know, I've always enjoyed going up there. I think I ran in the first Indiana Derby ever.